like fighting as well as talking. <laughs> there, see, the danger's over. Where have you been all evening? Have you already noticed me before? Of course, of course. <laughs> and whenever I looked for you, you weren't there. Uh, thirsty? Thank you. I'm trying to remember your name. Isn't that funny? I'm trying to remember yours. Oh, really? <laughs> well, uh, suppose you tell me yours again. If I do, will you dance with me one, no, twice around the room? You want to dance? Yes. <laughs> Splendid. But only for a moment, then I must go. You haven't told me your name yet. Fufu. Rufu? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not a name. It's my name. Well, is that the only name I'm to know? Yes. <laughs> Will you remember? I can never forget it. And now your name. Why? That you'll only forget it. Oh, no. I will always remember the name of the gentleman with such a pleasure to dance with. Well, then, proof, proof. I'm the man who's giving the party. You, Monsieur Valet. André Valet. Right. Now we know each other. I must... I must go now. Goodbye. I must go, I say. Where? I'll take you. Upstairs to bed. Lordy. Pig. Where's Mademoiselle Fru Fru? Ain't she here? Fru Fru? Pig, what are you doing up and dressed? I and Mademoiselle Fru Fru got hungry. Have you been to church? <laughs> what fun! Uh, that's right, Mademoiselle. We've just been to church. Fru Fru. What's that? Stop teasing and let me in. It's disgraceful. Disgraceful. I'll call Madame Fru. No, no, it's just fun. Fun. But a girl's own future may be ruined by what you call fun. That's right, Missy. And Suzanne always says our lady's like a postage stamp. The minute she got a black mark on it, she ain't no good no more to nobody. Very well, my dear. Where there's a will, there's a way. What is all this hubbub? Mama, what a surprise. I, 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 I was just looking for you. <laughs> How perfectly splendid you look. <laughs> now try and be patient, George. That pain may mean blood poisoning. And there's nothing you can do but obey the doctor and keep quiet until the danger's passed. My daughters will help Suzanne nurse you. I thought they were in New Orleans. No, <laughs> they're back. With the compliments of Mademoiselle Louise. That is the room the gentleman's in. Hmm. I'm sorry, but Monsieur Sartoris isn't to have any visitors today. Well, then I'll come another time. Who shall I say call? André Valère. This is Mademoiselle Frufru's sister. Mademoiselle. Monsieur. I am to be scolded, and I deserve it, but... Your uh, conduct was not that of a gentleman the other night, monsieur. I know it, uh, but... But it must be in the future, if you're to be received in this house. Please understand that. Oh, I do, and it will be. You promise that, then? On your honor? On my honor. Good morning, mademoiselle. Monsieur Valère is up there talking to mademoiselle Louise. Monsieur Valère? Mademoiselle. You have a long face, monsieur. And a bad conscience. Oh. My sister says I should have one, too. But I'm not sorry I went to your party the other night. I, however, am very sorry that I didn't know who you were. 
and that I was not quite myself. A thousand apologies. Good morning. Monsieur Blair! I consider what happened entirely my own fault. And I hope you'll forgive me. Thank you, Mademoiselle Frou-Frou. Oh. You better not call me that. I'm Frou-Frou only to my family. What a pity. The name suits you. I think so, too. I'll remember and say good morning, Mademoiselle Gilbert. Do you uh, ride often? That depends. Perhaps I'll see you sometime. Perhaps. A touch of blood poisoning from that little knife wound has kept me in bed for a month. But feeling as I do that our country is destined to be one of the greatest in the world, does that mean France or America, Monsieur Georges? America, of course. Oh, but you can't really believe that. You'll see. No, you and I may not see it. But our children, if we ever have any will... I don't like that sort of talk, Monsieur. Oh, politics bores you? It ain't the politics. That's just foolishness. Ain't no call for you to talk to my young Missy about y'all's children before there's even talk about a wedding. Suzanne! <laughs> Get on with your letter writing, Mademoiselle. You ain't here to visit with the gentleman. Oh, first, have I your permission to ask the young lady a question, Madame Suzanne? Before I says yes and before I says no, I got to know just what the question is. I want to know if she's going to marry the Count de La Richelle. Good heavens, no. Who's that? A certain French nobleman, who rumor says was at her feet in Paris. But such an idea never entered my head. Hello, hello, hello. We've come to bring you some presents. We found this peddler fellow on the road, and Mademoiselle thought perhaps he and his small companion here might amuse you. But you might have chosen a better time. The mailboy's waiting for these letters. Oh, one can write letters any time. Look, Monsieur George, what I bought for you. This rosary. The men swear the beads are real tortoise shell in the chain gold. Yes, very, very fine. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mademoiselle. And this beautiful tortoise shell comb is for you. Because you have the most beautiful hair in the world. Look. Oh, thank you. Thank Monsieur André. He paid for it. I didn't have any money. <laughs> oh, well, it's very handsome, but I'm afraid it's much too expensive a gift for me to receive from a gentleman. I'm sure your mother would like it. Yes, very, very fine. Real tortoise chef. I wanted to have this thing, but you won't sell it. No, no, mademoiselle. Me no sell it, Joker. No, no. Now you must play for Monsieur Satouris. Hello, Mama. Yeah. Busy? I'm always busy. He who wastes moments wastes money. Accounts? You see, you need all I can make and save for you, as you know. Mama? Yes? I'm going to reform. It's time. I, uh, I want to get married. Step outside, Jean. Gilbert? Of course. Yes. Of course, you'd have to choose the flighty one. I wish to have been the sensible one. I could have found no fault with her. I'll find none with fruit, Fru, Mama. I'll find none if she makes you happy, my son. I'm going to ask her father if I may speak to her tonight at her party. Uh, time to read the evening prayers to our black people. the most secret thoughts of our hearts are known, and we offer this night the tribute of our respect and love. Fetch me some cognac. Yes, monsieur, but you take it easy till the party starts. Alone, monsieur George? Yes, ma'am, monsieur. 
Do you or do you not like this dress? Isn't it perfect? I have another one that might be better. No, no, keep that on. I will. What a comfort to have important matters decided by a gentleman. <laughs> Thank you, Monsieur George. Thank you. Oh, there was something else. Oh, yes, this bracelet. I can't fasten it and pick can't. Can you? Well, I can try. Hmm, the lock sprung a little. There. Now I know I will have success in this dress tonight. Has Monsieur Brigard gone down yet? Yes, Monsieur. Master's in the study, just waiting for the guests to start getting here. Oh, your dresses and got too big running your legs off for that Monsieur George. <laughs> Don't fuss if it's too big, pin it. No, no. My gracious, if I hadn't heard every word that passed between you two, I think he'd already popped a question. Well, perhaps he would have, if you'd not been all eyes and ears every moment. I'm going to be all eyes and ears until you two jumps to Brumstick, child. Well, you'll not be tonight. At least he'll be able to say a few words to me alone before he goes tomorrow. I hope there's the words you've been waiting for, honey. Oh, they are. Oh, what have I done to deserve him, Suzanne? What has any woman done to deserve such a man? You've been good and sweet, Pat. Hold still to need another pin. You're good and sweet and nice, and that's enough for any man. Now, go down and show him your pretty self. Oh, Pompey, has Monsieur Sartoris come down? Yes, mademoiselle. Him's in there with Massa, but I wouldn't disrupt him yet a while. Oh, Louise, wait. There's something I want to say to you before anyone else comes. No. Yes, I've just spoken to your father, and he tells me I must speak to you. You've spoken to Papa about... Can't you guess? I'm in love with your sister. She's bad. Didn't you know it? No, uh, I didn't know it. <laughs> and I thought the whole world knew it. But why do you tell me? Why don't you tell her? Because your father hesitates to give his consent without your approval. He seems to think that we aren't suited to each other. Yes, I understand that. Gilbert's so frivolous. And you're so serious. Too serious, perhaps. That's what I'm afraid of. But he says that you've decided everything for her all her life and that you're to decide this. So my fate is in your hands, dear Louise. Do say you approve. I approve, I approve. Why, yes. Yes, why shouldn't I approve? Why, you're the very person to cure Fru-Fru of her frivolity. Well, I don't want to cure her. Her frivolity is the very thing that makes her so attractive. Shall I send her to you? I, I advise you to speak to her at once. You may find rivals here tonight. Everyone loves Fru-Fru, it seems. I don't think I haven't thought of that. Fru-Fru. Oh, Louis. Which do you like better, with this dress, the rosebuds or the gardenias? Does it matter? You look serious. What's happened? Let Monsieur Georges tell you. He's waiting for you now. Monsieur Georges? Oh, it's what he does, Fru-Fru. Be wise for once. Be wise? What do you mean? He loves you. He's spoken to Papa. He wishes to marry you. Marry me? Monsieur Georges? Thank Catherine has done that. I prayed for her husband and now she sends me Monsieur George. She's bad. <laughs> but it's all so funny. <laughs> I, 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 I can't get used to the idea at all. <laughs> Monsieur George. Who? <laughs> Monsieur George. Who hasn't a fault to his name? Whom everybody praises to the skies? Wants to marry me? Me? For who? Well, I could understand if it would be Monsieur André. That would be different, perhaps. But between the two, surely you can't hesitate. Oh, Fru Fru, even if you don't love Monsieur Georges now, you'll learn to love him when he's your husband. Yes, I admit, that ought to be easy. And I don't